95.7 The Game Breaking News. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pass this all along without without crying. Um, oh God! Willie Mays has passed away. Two days before uh, the game that is essentially in his honor, and he was just interviewed this week and expressing such excitement um, with being able to 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 watch this game and that he wasn't moving very well and so he wasn't going to be able to be out there in person we talked about it yesterday and um but he was going to watch from home and this game means the world to him that it's happening and um he didn't quite get there man i'm i'm so glad that he saw the build up to it and um and obviously you know, Willie at uh, at 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 his age, making it to his early nineties, um, just lived a full and and wonderful life, and and maybe to a degree, this game now celebrating his honor, uh, two days after his passing will be that much more powerful. Yeah, but my 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 goodness, from John Shea on Twitter who wrote the book on Willie and knows Willie as well as anybody in. In America, he says, my heart is broken. All our hearts are broken. The world lost an absolute hero and treasure. The wonderful Willie Mays, a friend to all, died today peacefully, two days before the big day at Rickwood Field. Greatest, most exciting player ever. He changed the world. He was 93. From John Shea, two minutes ago on Twitter. Man. Wow. It's just. This game's coming up on Thursday. It was already in his honor. It will almost exclusively be in his honor now. Um, even for those of us who never saw him play, we all bought the idea that he was the greatest player who ever played the game. And anyone who had the chance to uh, to meet him at any time, um, the person that, uh, that he was matched the player. And so it is with um, just... Wow, L- overwhelmingly broken hearts tonight that we that we pass this news along. It just is so sad, and I think you you put it perfectly when you talked about what this game now at Rickwood means on Thursday. It was already going to be a Willie Mays tribute to a living legend, and now it's a Willie Mays tribute to a legend who has passed. And so the emotions surrounding the game, I think, will be even more powerful than they were before, even though you mentioned that the game was largely... In Willie's honor, mm. a kid from Alabama, from nearby at Rickwood Field, and somebody who grew up playing there and dreamed of being a major leaguer. And we all heard the interview from just a couple of days ago right? when he talked about why he wasn't going to be able to make it and how he's going to be watching from home. And to have this news come today, literally two days ahead of this historic game, it, it's just devastatingly sad. Um, you okay if we hang here for a couple minutes? Absolutely, Mark. Okay. Okay, because we're 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 right at the time where we would uh, we would sign off yeah. and hand it over to Grandy. Are you okay? Because I I'm I fine. Know this, I know I'm this fine, hits hard. Yeah, this is I I just it, it's impossible to escape not just this happening, but it happening this week. Right. I'm just like I mean I'm 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 overwhelmed with the emotion that that surrounds that. I'm 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 totally overwhelmed by the build up to this and this happening this week is just I I can't believe it. I can't believe it. And I'm I, I'll be straight honest with you and everyone and I think you you already know this cuz we've we've had this conversation um when you do what we do for for a living sometimes you you have moments where you think about things that you know are coming. Yeah. And 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 as Willie moves into his 90s I will tell you that that people in sports media in the Bay Area, it is something that every now and again you sort of think about. You're like, that day is, right? It's almost like your own parents. You know, you're like, boy, I better enjoy every time I see him because this is coming. Yeah. One of these days is going to be that day. And, and so we've had that thought cross our mind about Willie just because of different health issues in the last few years and just being in his 90s. 93, you know, like yeah. One of these days we're going to have to do, the, the, it's going to be the Willie Mays day and it's going to be absolutely 
one of the hardest things that 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 we do because because this man is so beloved and he's so powerful. He's so big. His life, his legacy, his imprint on on baseball and so much beyond baseball is just impossible to describe and and think about. And for it to happen two days before Rick would, yeah, I just, I I can't believe it. Yeah, I just can't believe it. I can't either. And it it just is. That's the piece that makes it even more incredibly sad. And anytime you lose a legend, certainly someone at ninety three, there's going to be the certain amount of sadness that goes along with it. And we can all take moments and talk about a life well lived, and that's all true. And maybe no more so than with Willie Mays than almost anybody before him in sports, Bay Area sports to be sure, but to have it happen two days before this game that he w- wasn't going to be able to attend no. for obvious reasons, and he's 93, and so travel is tough and difficult to move around, but for it to happen two days before, it adds a, an extra layer of sadness around the Rickwood game, but it also, I think, ele- uh, elevates it to a celebration point unlike anything hey. we've we're going to see, and I know we're planning on talk, talking to Bob Costas tomorrow yep. on our show, and it's going to be amazing to be able to get Bob's thoughts on Willie Mays, and even more poignant now that, that Willie Mays has passed today at the age of 93. Um, Willie Mays has passed away at, um, at age 93. Um, you're listening to uh, 95.7 The Game, KGMZ FM and HD1 San Francisco on Odyssey Sports Station, always live on the free Odyssey app, Twitch and YouTube, powered by First NorCal Credit Union for a low-rate auto loan. Apply online or just ask for First NorCal Financing at the dealer. I, I, I think that the point you just made, um, I'm hopeful that that as quickly as possible we can all get to that 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 thought that, first of all, that I, I don't think there's going to be a dry eye in the house at Rickwood right. in, in 48 hours. However... What an unbelievable opportunity to celebrate him. I mean, could there be a better way right. to celebrate this man than uh, than than what's going to happen here in a couple of days? No better way. And, you know, the celebration already was going to be huge, but now that, that he's passed, I think it, it crystallizes the moment even more so the impact of Willie Mays, born in 1931, lived 93 amazing years, and everybody who has had a chance to meet him. The tributes are going to start pouring in now since the announcement from the Giants that he passed this afternoon. And I think about the one time I was fortunate enough to to talk to him. A mutual friend of ours, Marty Lurie, actually yeah. he took a moment in spring training and said, hey, hey, Dan, come on over here and meet <laughs> Willie. And I, I was like, what? What? Meet? You want to meet Willie? And so there's the handshake and there's a brief, you know, 30 second back and forth and then I just stepped back and watched him work the room. Young Giants, middle-aged Giants, coaches, cognoscenti, experts, people and it's Willie. He's the absolute center of the universe without trying to be the center of the universe. And people coming up to him and he's holding court and this is probably 12 years ago and yeah. he was at the ripe young age of about 80 and he's, you know, entertaining but not really and telling stories and it's like, oh my god, this guy's history. This is living history and so it it's sad to to know that the finality has come today at the age of 93 um you want to take a call yeah uh yeah. En- enrique in santa barbara wants to talk about willie mays hey enrique what's up thanks for taking my call guys yeah. i really appreciate it and i just wanted to say that willie mays is uh my favorite giant of all time he's one of the greatest uh baseball players of all time look at mlb's that article they came out with the top 100 mlb willie mays is number two man behind babe ruth come on i i don't have any more words man number 24 say hey kid thanks enrique thanks enrique i mean yeah i mean we'll, we'll hang out for a handful more minutes grandy's here he's going to take you um as well but if uh if you have a tribute or something you want to say about willie mays who passes away today at age 93 peacefully um, 888-957-9570. We, we'd love to hear from you. I think everybody's voices, this is an opportunity to, you know, wherever, whatever you believe in terms of where someone goes and what they can see and yeah. what they can hear. Um, even if it's just for all of us who are still here present on, uh, on the earth, um, that's, that's part of the healing of, of, of something like this. And, 
And, and also, again, just uh, the celebration, the celebration, like um, <laughs> 93 years old. I mean, you, you, you could not you could not have asked for for more from somebody who wore this uniform, helped bring baseball to this city. He was everything. This um, th there's no bigger presence in the history of the game than this man. Um, I, I, I'm flashing right now to I don't even know what age I was, but I was a huge baseball card collector, as many of us were uh, as kids, and especially as a child of the '80s when baseball card collecting was at its absolute height. Um, it, it's all I did. It's what I did with my friends. When we got to get out of the house, we'd ride the bikes to a local store and buy baseball cards. And I still got boxes and boxes and boxes of them somewhere tucked away in closets. Um, but all of that started because of a present. And I don't even remember what it was for. Probably my sixth birthday or fifth birthday or something. But an, an, older generation cousin got me a present and it was a baseball card of Willie Mays. Wow. And it was from like his second or third year, not his rookie card right. or whatever. Like I don't even care what it's worth. I would never even think about parting with it, but there was a baseball card of, uh, of Willie Mays and, um, and a baseball card of Willie McCovey yeah. alongside it. And those, that gift, those two things handed to me, um, is what got me into baseball card collecting and born from that, my, yeah. my love of the love game. of baseball yeah. and the love of the yeah. giants without a doubt. And I, I don't really ever remember seeing Willie play even late in his career, but you mentioned Willie McCovey and it was always the two Willies, you know, Mays and McCovey in the early days of the Giants. And I remember as a kid watching Willie McCovey, and we lost him a handful of years ago. And now to have this happen and, you know, just thinking about Willie Mays at 93 and the the icon that he was. And as you were talking about that, talking about the afterlife and whatever people believe, it just it hit me that I have a feeling, Mark, that we're going to see something at Rickwood that is reminiscent of Willie Mays. I don't know if it's a back to home plate overhead basket catch, but I, I have a feeling that Willie's presence is going to be at Rickwood on Thursday. Um, I'm with you. We'll let people know a little bit more about what Rickwood is because I think there are some listeners who, you know, you're just kind of cruising around in life. You're like, I don't really know much about this, but this commemorative game, uh, Negro League players, Willie Mays, who played there, one of the first players to play there when he was 17 years old. In Birmingham, Alabama, seats about eight or nine thousand. It's gone through a renovation because, uh, especially with Juneteenth celebrations this week, Major League Baseball accepting Negro League stats into the official record book. They really wanted to commemorate this and uh, and certainly make it about many things, including Willie Mays. And uh, so he was already going to be a massive, massive presence, even in absentia, at this celebration on Thursday night, and that's one of the reasons the Giants are in this game.